Hello, my name is Alan Prost, and I'm going to give you a little introduction to the HD PFT 1000. That's a portable spirometer that we use um, at the bedside. And what I'm going to show you what to do with this is how to calibrate it and some of the basic features of the device. Okay? So one of the first things you need to be able to do is be able to actually um, get the software going. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to click on that little Insight there um, logo and that'll start up the software for us. And once we get that going, now a little bit about this device here. You can see those little kind of tube mules going through there. All right, that's part of the Flesh Fleish Pneumatac. And the way that works is that we have a known resistance created by those little capillaries across here. And what we're going to do is we measure the pressure drop across that known resistance and that calculates the flow. All right. By knowing the pressure drop across the known resistance, we can calculate the flow. And if we know the flow every millisecond, we can also calculate the volume. And that's the way this device works. It measures the pressure gradient and calculates the flow and the volume. So to get started, we need to be able to calibrate the device to make sure it's ready for use today. All right. So to do that, we get on here, and I hope you can see this clearly, but we're actually just going to click on patient information. I know that doesn't seem very uh, logical, but that's what we're going to do just to get the software started. All right, we click on patient information. Give it a second here. And then it comes up here with um, how we would start with our patient visit information. But I'm going to go right up here to tools. I think you can see that there. And under tools, I'm going to go calibration. Okay, once we get the calibration going here, I know there's a little reflection on the screen there. There's nothing I can do about that right now. So we're going to calibrate, but we're going to first start off here by entering the barometric pressure and temperature. All right, so click on that, hit calibrate, it comes back now, and it asks us, what is that? So we're going to go continue. And we actually put in the temperature. And the temperature today is 24.1 in this room right now. It's pretty warm in here. All right. The humidity is 29. And the barometric pressure today is 667. All right. So we enter that. We get that's all there is to that. So then we go continue. Click on that. Now we're going to actually calibrate the pneumotac. All right. So to do that, we just click on here and we go up to the calibrate button. Click on that, comes back now, and it gives us a little screen telling us what to do. So here, follow the instructions carefully. So choose Calibrate, it says. So we're going to go down here, click on Calibrate, and I'll also show you how to verify this. So we click on Calibrate, and it says make sure that there's no flow through our device. Now that's important with all pneumotax, is that initially you want to make sure there's no flow through there. All right. So then comes back and it says continue. So we go continue and it says offshift measurement is complete. So now it gives us some targets on where we want to get that flow with our calibration. Okay? So I'm just going to set this down here. So the way this works is I'm going to hook this up to the calibration syringe and I'm going to watch my screen here to make sure that I can get that flow rate through my device. All right. So I go continue, and it starts doing that. So, all right. I pushed it in the wrong way that way, so I hit the space bar. That's no problem. And it'll come back now. So I'm going to pull back quickly and try to get my flow rate as close to that dotted line as I can. And so I got it pretty close, so it says continue. So that was inspiration, and now we're going to do it for exhalation. This is our calibration procedure. So push it in as fast as you can, or as fast to get the flow rate at about that dotted line. All right? So it's a success. Great, we're calibrated, but we're not quite finished yet. So we hit continue. All right. Now we have to do a verification. We've calibrated a device, and now we're gonna do a verification to make sure it's working correctly. Now this is where you need to know a little bit about the American Thoracic Society guidelines because it wants to make sure that we verify it for three flow rates. All right, a 
low, which is about one liter per second, a medium flow rate about five liters per second, and a high flow rate of about 10 liters per second. Now it doesn't tell you this in the software, you just have to know that. So when we click verify and then continue, it starts off with giving us one of those dotted red, those dotted lines. So when we hit the space bar, pull back and meet the dotted line. Make right, sure we get our low. All right? Comes back now and it says, okay, that's good. And it shows us the volume. You can actually read it off and it says it's 3.02. And that's good because that's our meets our plus or minus 3% of our three liter syringe, which is 90 mils. So hit the space bar again. Now I'm gonna reach that low flow line. Okay, success, all right? It measured that as 2.98. So it verifies that it's working, but we haven't done it at the higher flow rates yet. So I'm gonna hit continue. Now it doesn't give us any guidelines. You just need to know that we wanna make sure it works at a medium flow rate. So I pull back on there to get to about that four to five liters per second. I measured my volume at 3.03 .03 liters, so you have to read that off the screen to make sure it's correct. That was on inspiration, so let's try it on exhalation. And it read it as 3.98, so now let's try out high flow rate, 3.05, so it's working very well for us, and the high flow rate should be about 10 liters per second. So we've done that on inspiration, let's try it again on exhalation. Quite a high flow rate, that was about 10 liters per second, and it measured the volume in here at 2.88 liters. So that meets our ATS criteria. We've calibrated it and we verified the flow at low, medium, and high flow rates. So we can print off our calibration report, sign that as being completed and verified, and put it into our binder. All right. So that's a little bit of an introduction on how to use the HD PFT 1000. Now there's one other little quirk about this device. When you go to do a slow vital capacity, and by the way, this will not ever um, get out of this until you hit close, all right? So you can print up this report, hit close, and now start putting in your patient data. One thing about this is for doing a slow vital capacity and to go to all your tests, you go to hit to the go to, but for this particular one, you're gonna go to lung volumes helium and then measure the and then click on slow vital capacity test and do that through there. Thank you very much. I'm Alan Prost. Quick introduction to the HD PFT 1000.